Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a really interesting video because we're going to be talking about food, of course, and how it affects your health and things I didn't know, but we're going to be sharing them with you on today's video. I'm Chris Gibson. If you're new and not familiar with my channel or me, I am a skincare expert. I've been doing skincare for 36 years, helping people find skincare that will work for them, not empty their wallet and not do them more harm than good. So if that's the kind of information you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. Today I am with Evan and Lindsay. So I'm going to have you guys introduce yourselves and tell us what you know. And then we're going to talk food, diet, health, and fitness. Cool. Let's dive right into it. Uh, yeah. So we're Evan and Lindsay. Um, so we call ourselves unconventional health. Uh, that's unconventional underscore health on Instagram. Okay. So I'm a certified personal trainer, also a certified nutrition coach. And uh, this is Lindsay. Hi, I'm Lindsay and I am a food consultant and I come from a background of healing myself through nutrition. Oh, so we do have something in common. That's yeah. how I got started in all of this stuff. For you guys that are new to the channel, I started with really severe acne as a teenager, wrote a book about it, became famous, went on TV, and now I'm on YouTube because I'm almost 60 and I don't look it, right? I don't look it. So. <laughs> So one of the things that I've learned over time now that I am the age I am and look the way that I do and my health is good is that all of these habits I picked up in my 20s really have paid off later in life. So not only did I cure my acne condition on my own in my teens and early 20s, but those same habits that I learned and now we know so much more than we knew even back then can really make a difference in how well you live and how long you live. So why don't we start by talking about sea oils because that was some information i got from you that i didn't know yeah all that stuff about sea oils we kind of know about hydrogenated unhyd or not hydrogenated and yeah. then we know about olive oil and that type of thing but i think that it goes much deeper than yes. just that absolutely and seed oils tends to be a very inflammatory uh thing to talk about now so the topic of seed oils you're going to get people rolling their eyes you know like oh this is just you know jargon this is just you know propaganda and whatnot but if what i always suggest is if you are okay with eating the way that you have and you're okay with not getting any changed results then by all means go for it you know but i think it's always great to kind of explore and see oh, wait a minute what is going on you know so uh seed oils are in everything so when it comes down right. to any processed foods it's probably going to have some hydrogenated oil a vegetable oil seed oil um never in our life have we really consumed the amount of oil like the omega-6 uh, polyunsaturated mm -hmm. fatty acids um in one sitting that we do every time that we eat like a serving of chips or even just like right. um like for for example if you were getting uh just one ounce or one tablespoon of sunflower oil it takes about you know 40 40 pounds of sunflower seeds in order for, for you to get that i played baseball growing up i never ate 40 pounds of sunflower seeds at once you know yeah, so that's <laughs> and that's and yeah and then that comes with the inflammatory aspects of so many omega-6s so the ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 that we are eating nowadays is just through the roof so when it comes to the polyunsaturated fatty acids um the, what that means is that the polyunsaturated means that there's a double bond which means there's a chance of oxidation happening a lot more than like a saturated fat of like tallow or butter or something like right. that too so um that can cause the oxidative stress especially when it comes to skincare you know how oxidation is bad the inflammation is bad so it's in everything it is all over the place whether you know it or not you know right. even foods that you think like dry, healthy yeah are healthy. Say health mm -hmm. foods yeah. are exactly as healthy and people hear omega and they right away think that means healthy yes uh -huh. right yes. off the bat oh because that's kind of how it's been promoted. exactly yeah. yeah and even omega-3s um the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio that we're having right now the omega-6 it's like a 10 to 1 so that means that there's just the chance of having so many more free radicals and so many more um so many more uh, inflammatory markers out there too so it's pretty it's pretty big deal you know it is, we have changed the way that we have we have been cooking um We've been big on the anti-seed oils route for quite a while before we even knew each other though. So we both have come to that conclusion. Instantly, I have felt significantly better as soon as I just removed, first of all, processed foods. You know, most yeah. people be like, oh, it's just because you removed processed foods. Well, no, then also the way that I cook my steaks, the way we cook our meat, the way we even just do everything, it's based around like, ooh, well, there's seed oils in here. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat this too. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. And that's and that's the thing. I mean, you know, people are trying to make good choices. I have the, a lot of you guys on the channel will text me, email me, or write on the actual videos what the specifics they should be looking for. Yeah. And it's hard because, again, we're, our brains are really trained. We see omega, anything. Yeah. Well, that's got to be good for you. For sure. Um, mm -hmm. And then I think 
more and more people are starting to understand that when you heat these oils, it changes yes. them as well, mm -hmm. chemically, just like chemical sunscreen yeah. mm -hmm. would change in the sun. That was an issue, you know, with the chemical sunscreen. Yes. So, mm -hmm. so what would you, how would you direct people? Cause you guys teach this yes. too, mm -hmm. you have classes. So what would you tell someone a great place to start trying to clean this up out of your, yeah. out of your lifestyle? What would you, yeah, what would you do? Well, you're the chef, so I would tell them just single ingredient yeah. foods and everything so yeah yeah absolutely i mean no matter what diet you choose to be on whether that's vegan carnivore paleo anything um cutting out seed oils is a, an option for everyone um so i'd say start there start with cutting out those inflammatory oils and just try to stick to one single ingredient foods and the best quality that you can buy that you can find okay. um so ideally organic of course but yeah whole foods single ingredient that way you know there's not going to be seed oils in them yeah right. that makes sense and, and and just for everybody's sake seed oils what are they yeah I mean, let's let's tell them what uh, yeah they that's like are. your corn canola uh oil that would be like your safflower sunflower oils but then you have the overarching vegetable oils as well too so the ones that you want to be careful of are the ones that have the higher linoleic acid profile mm -hmm. in it too okay. the linoleic acid is the um polyunsaturated fatty acid that is rampant in a lot of those like grapeseed oil um and it's also in a yeah, grapeseed like, oil is in a lot that's even yes. skincare products mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's used now a lot. yeah and one thing i would always watch out for is if a product is advertising that it's heart healthy i would be very weary of that okay so there's a lot of marketing that goes to these seed oils and telling you that it's and like you could even get organic canola oil i think it's a general like concept uh, you know everyone well, the focus got shifted to the the the, uh, what is that stuff called? The GM, uh, what is it? GMO, the, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it, yeah. It was, you know, that, that took the attention off of it for a while. Everybody was really up in arms about trying to make sure they weren't getting that. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. so, no. And then like when it comes to just all of these, the, the linoleic acid were consuming so much more relative to where we were even like 70, 80 years ago. I mean, we got to look at just the history of, right. of seed oils as well, too. It started with Crisco, you know, or a vegetable oil, like they're trying to use the cotton yeah, seed oil. Yeah, I had a ton of that. At my age, yes. you know, that fried uh -huh. chicken was covered in yeah. Crisco. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all our cookies, you know? all our pastries. Exactly, yeah. Yes. yeah. So it's just so interesting that, that people don't realize that they were just fed, you know, like what was essentially like industrial sludge and then also the beginning of like candle making, they just hydrogenated it and then people were eating that and consuming that. Mm -hmm. People still will consume that when it comes to the holidays. Oh, that's the only time that I really have Crisco and it's just something that can stick in your body for years too. Some people say yeah. two years, some people say up to seven years. So, yeah. so what about olive oil, like yeah. cold pressed olive oil? Is that yeah. good? So mon good it's choice. a monosaturated fat. Um, you know, I, we love to use olive oil. So olive oil, yeah. olive oil, y'all. Yes, <laughs> there you go. but you want to make sure you still don't heat it up, right. you know? Yeah. So we, and like some people say you can cook with it and there's a higher smoke point to it, but I just like, I will actually just take a couple shots it's of olive when you oil. heat it, mm -hmm. it, it does change the yes. chemical. Mm -hmm. yes. And yeah. then what about uh, peanut oil, cold pressed peanut oil? I would stay away at anything yeah. peanuts. Yeah, just okay. peanut oils in okay. general too. Right. There's a, it's very inflammatory for a lot of people. A lot of people. Now, if you can handle things like that, I still would just stay away because when have we ever condensed all that peanuts down and when have you ever eaten that many peanuts at one time to get the exact same? Peanut sense? oil is good on the skin. I know that, that mm -hmm. okay. it's a yeah. holistic, one of the holistic oils. That's why I asked about that. Yeah. But it is marketed for people to cook with now. Yeah. And now that's another thing is that you have a lot of these herbal remedies that people are like these things that would be good on the skin, you like know, like ingested, you know, something like castor oil. I wouldn't drink castor oil. Oh no, oil, that's very good for skin. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. also a laxative, mm -hmm. so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. But one that you'll see a lot is sunflower oil. Yeah. You can go into your health food store and buy an organic product, but it's likely that it has sunflower oil in it. Yeah, and sunflower exactly. oil is good in skincare products yeah it's really mm -hmm. good in sunscreens and it helps the skin yeah absorb just enough of it but it's also very hydrating so yeah again, you wouldn't eat your moisturizer no right? exactly so you know mm -hmm. there you go that is some really great information but there's more we want to talk about but instead of having a 20 minute video we're going to have a 10 minute video followed by another one so if you haven't subscribed you should do that because you're going to want to see this next one where we talk about saturated fat and how it's good for you yeah good for you